Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. All right thinker so some kind of an encouragement to uh, maybe pay attention to something that uh, requires the proper understanding maybe a deeper understanding some evaluation that you are called to do in order to um, achieve some clarity this can be about something that can be a source of uh, destruction, overwhelming energies. Maybe it is something that you want to achieve and you may be called to say, all right, let's sit down and think about it in order to deal with it in the best possible way. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles. There is also the Two of Swords, a meaningful evaluation process. I will pull the Two of Swords. Oh, I love that we get the Ace of Swords uh, under it. So, clarity of the mind. Let's go for it. The Thinker Energy uh, basically must go through... Um, meaningful process with the moon in the background so a uh, depth must be faced in order to find clarity of the mind truth be spoken because for some reason we have the eight of swords a uh, self-inflicted energy most of the time swords are thoughts the lady is bounded in a rope blindfolded she doesn't realize the fact that if she walks away she can free herself you know she is kind of stuck in a situation where her mind is working against her this can be a situation work related i want to say because we have the three of pentacles it is possible or in the love arena we have the knight of cups so feelings that uh, are calling to be shared but for some reason we find ourselves a little bit stuck now another um, accent can be put on the fact that a love connection can be manifested in a positive way working together building something together learning from each other but for some reason we are stuck in a eight of swords uh, mode the knight of cups is an energy about true feelings uh, coming from someone that is in touch with their heart someone very comfortable in the extending of uh, love gestures you know this knight follows his art with um, a great deal of comfort and I love the Three of Pentacles, the chance to learn from others, not, not just work with others, but learn also meaningful lessons, meaningful things in order to build, yes, as the general meaning of the card goes, something that can have solid foundations, something that can last for a long time. Let's clarify this combination, guys. Let's see. What we can get all right the sun turned in my hand so the knight of cups can bring within a sun energy a happy energy all right queen of pentacles the fool and the magician very beautiful so again allow me to say 
the magician is an encouragement to take charge of a particular um, stuck energy that can be dealt in a loving and caring way just like the queen of pentacles is able to um, to do she knows how to practice um, self-loving energies basically in her favor but also in favor of those that uh, go to her in order to achieve a word of encouragement uh, support um, loving and caring energies so it's like um, give yourself a break if you are finding yourself in a eight of swords mode seek a uh, in an introspection that can work in your favor because new horizons can uh, open before your eyes the sun is the happiest card in the deck ultimate happiness of course fulfillment the chance to shine our brightest light coming of course from ourselves first and foremost but then also in a partnership for example shining together you know being able to um, put an accent in favor of the best qualities even in our partner there is some kind of generosity in this vibration especially coming with the knight of cups the fool is a leap of faith that can go in favor of a connection of a partnership that can be built in the proper way the fool is ready to embark on a journey because he wants to learn new things through experiences in order to in order to make the most out of this experience and in order to snap away from the eight of swords meaningful introspection embrace the depth of the evaluation find your ace of swords energy the clarity of the mind that will allow you guys to speak your truth in a way that is able to avoid whatever misunderstanding can be otherwise presented in the flow of communication your mind can be your most powerful ally in order to free from the doubts that we can find in an eight of swords energy a self-inflicted energy kind of like the nine of, of swords but clarity of the mind and loving and caring energies can work in your favor in order to deal with this energy with this connection with a special someone that you may have in your heart in order to cooperate together deciding also to take the leap in order to move towards happiness the sun It's a process. Sometimes these situations cannot be rushed. Um, they need to be understood properly. So this is quite an encouragement. It can be done because the Ace of Swords, an energy about clarity of the mind, can be achieved. We have seen the magician. So you can work with all the tools that you may have at your disposal in order to manifest your wishes, your desires. Even in a partnership that is already presenting reciprocal feelings and pure love that is waiting to be manifested. You know? So, go deep in the introspection and then take the leap as the fool cannot wait to do guys i will leave it at that i truly hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys
take a very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye